I sent dash news to the press yesterday. A parcel of, a flash of, an item of, a number of. Of course, we are talking about news. An item of news was sent to the press. I sent an item of news to the press yesterday. The university has a large collection of sporting dash. Here again, we come to terms with issue of equipment. And like I said, do not forget, it doesn't go with S. So the university has a large collection of sporting equipment. So we couldn't have gotten A's or costumes, talking about sporting uh, kind of a place, collection of it. So it should be equipment, sporting equipment, that is option A. It keeps its dash clean always. Uh, when we did mention this, uh, like I said, we shouldn't forget about the, the plural words, uh, which are plurality tantums. These are words that usually come with S naturally. That is, by the time you are relating them, you must put S. Surroundings is one of it. So surroundings, it should be with S. You'll be wrong to just say surrounding uh, when you are talking about a particular place. Then premise. Premise should go with S. So it should be premises, not premise. If you are not using a verb. Then also environment should be without S. I think that is what uh, I'd actually rendered other options uh, inappropriate. So it keeps its surroundings clean always. So make sure you are having S, like headquarters, suburbs, tentacles. These are words that usually go with S by nature. Scissors, mathematics, statistics. So they naturally go with S. They are plural words. So we call them uh, pluralia tantums. So uh, don't get confused where you see S being included. It doesn't mean they have been pluralized, but that is their natural way of uh, being written. People who live by dash what loneliness is like people who live by each other know one another know oneself know themselves know we are talking about people here that is uh, talking about uh, our plurality people who live by themselves that is having not to relate with other people or depending on other people they know what loneliness is. People who live by themselves know what loneliness is like. You must forbid dash coming. You must forbid dash coming. That is, having to use a relativity in a nominal way, you must forbid his coming. You must forbid his coming. That is option D. So, other ones, this is he is. That he is. So, you couldn't have said you must forbid he is coming or that he is coming. So, and not him for coming, but you must forbid his coming. Option D. They spend the last holiday with their dash. Uh, this is also talking about uh, pluralization of uh, compound nouns. And uh, like I did say then, when we are talking about parents-in-law, it is still the same thing here, that is sisters-in-law. The root word is, should be the one to be pluralized, not the afflictions. They spend the last holiday with their sister, sisters-in-law because all are uh, to be written in a plural way. So is that with their sister-in-law or with their sisters-in-law? That is, uh, plurality of sister-in-law now coming to be sisters-in-law rather than saying sister-in-laws. The dash discouraged me from reading it. Story's length. Length of the story. Story length. Story's length. Uh, mind you, uh, when you're talking about possessive, possessive nouns, uh, it, is, it is not admissible to have um, a non-human entity using apostrophe as a possessive. So the way you are going to say John's book or uh, Ade's ball, you couldn't have said story's length. So rather you say the length of the story. So you couldn't have said uh, uh, the the door's key, but the key to the door. So a non-human does not possess. So it, rather than you say uh, the whatever of that thing, not having to say it in an apostrophe uh, inflexed form. You think she hasn't got any friends? Of course, she's got dash. Many more, quite much, quite a few, few. So since the concept of the question is that the person was thinking 
the other one has not got any friend. So say, of course, she's got quite a few. She's got quite a few. That is a number, high in number, but not up to. That is uh, very different. Is actually different from many, but at least we can point at some of them. So and that is not few would be inappropriate here because few means scanty. That is really has she got any there? So quite a few of them. He moved out of the house because the landlord and his wife were always fighting Dash. We have two people reciprocating actions here as well. So themselves, themselves, each other, one another. That is each other. We're talking about uh, the landlord and his wife. Those are two people. So then definitely we should have each other there. Do you think all Dash not enough to help the investigation? Uh, information information should be without S, like I said. And uh, now say these informations is out of it then. Uh, this, this is a singular this, which is a demonstrative pronoun. So it shouldn't go with a. That is why, and uh, say this information a, so do you think all then when you are talking about all here, it is actually discussing the issue of plurality. So this, we should have been appropriate. This information, all has made it inappropriate. So that is why you now say, do you think all this information, but make sure there is no S, all this information are not enough to help the investigation. We are, we are talking about not, not a single item of information now. That is a large number of them. But make sure it is without us. All this information are not enough to help the investigation. The army ran short of dash. Arm and ammunition, arms and ammunition, arms and ammunition, arm and ammunition. Of course, we are talking about uh, plural words. Plural words are into two the singular tantrums and the plural tantrums. Arms. Arms is a plural tantrum. These are words that naturally take S. So when you are talking about arms to be things that could be held to fight, you call it arms, not just arm. So, but when it comes to ammunition, ammunition is a singular tantrum. Ammunition should not take S. So that is why you now have arms and ammunition, option C. Arms should be with S. Ammunition should be without S. So this is a, plura a plural tantrum. This is a singular tantrum. The journalists on popular views made him the subject of much dash. So that is, in as much as you are having unpopular views, then he will be derided. So the journalists on popular views made him the subject of derision. That is, uh, having to, like, giving him a knock rather than admiration. So the journalists on popular views made him the subject of much derision. Uh, kindly subscribe to our channel and uh, also do not forget to hit the notification bell as you can get every of our materials that, are, that will be helpful for your forthcoming exams. The pen which you have just picked up is that Charles. Uh, now we have some kind of um, uh, items here. Charles itself is a word that ends in S. So, ordinarily, had it been uh, maybe a name like John or a name like Andrew, so you would just say Andrews, that is Andrew apostrophe S. But in as much as Charles is a name, they already ended uh, having S, Charles. You just have to add the apostrophe. So it will be needless for you to put another apostrophe with S to call it Charles's. So it should just be Charles, option B. The pen which you have just picked up is Charles. There are a dash on spelling and pronunciation at the end of the book. So you are talking about a plural appendix, that is appendices. So it's going to take, turn to C rather than X. Most of his personal dash stolen affects was affects where effect was effects where we are talking about properties or personal belongings now we we'll call it effects most of his personal effects so that is uh, when you are talking about uh, chattels 
what you have as personal belongings, you can also call it effects. That is, most of his personal effects were stolen. The hospital can now boast of more dash. We also have a, a pluralization of compound nouns here. But in this case, uh, we have two root words, the women and the doctor. So both should be pluralized. So of course we have woman doctor. That is a singular. But we are talking about more now, which has to do with more than one. So both the woman and the doctor will be realized. So we have, the hospital can now boast of more women doctors. Women doctors, option C. So both the woman and the doctor are pluralized. They are both rude words. Did the boys enjoy dash when they went on vacation? Here we are talking about reflexive pronoun, not reciprocal. It, is, it isn't as if one boy is enjoying the other or the other is reciprocated. So we are talking about self. So do the boys enjoy themselves? Like, like I said, their self is ungrammatical. So did the boys enjoy themselves when they went on vacation? The panel's dash was stretched to the limit by what they had. The panel's dash was stretched to the limit. Credit, credence, credibility, credulity. So that is, we are talking about uh, the uh, kind of belief one has in, is it the panel, or is it the member of the panels, or the panel itself? So that is, it is a, a human. To a human, you say credulity. To a non-human, you say credibility. So those who are contained as panel members. So you can say, oh, the, that man, is incredulous. Whatever he says is incredible. So one who, a human being will be credulous while what he said or whatever he does is credible. So the panel's credulity, because we are talking about members of the panel, that is, has been stretched to a limit by what they had. So that is, we are talking about members in there in the panel, that is credulity. The policeman pointed out a dash between Mr. Ogenen's two account of incident. Discrepancy, discord, distinction, disagreement. Okay, we are talking about account. That is having to talk about a story of what had actually happened. So there should be discrepancies. That is differences in one and the other. So uh, option A, that is the policeman pointed out a discrepancy between Mr. Ogenen's two account of incidents. You must study hard this semester in order to avoid being dash ridicule, an object of ridicule, an object for ridicule, a subject for ridicule, a subject with ridicule. So actually, you become an object and that of ridicule. Option A, an object of ridicule. Uh, kindly subscribe to our channels and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bells uh, so that you can have more to learn in uh, learning made easy uh, so that you can actually have about uh, extensive knowledge of most of the courses and the subjects you want to write. Now we are moving to test of oral and this is one uh, of the very important aspect whereby you have sound realization, stress pattern, rhymes and uh, you know intonations. Uh, most of these words that are brought out, you have uh, points where they are realized and of which we discover that more many of the candidates do shy away from this. Meanwhile, they are simpler than they actually look. So we have some of the questions are also certainly picked, and then we pick the answers and see where they are realized. Choose from the word letter A to D, choose a word that has the same vowel sound as the one represented by the letter or letters on the line. Card. Card. The word is card, so we have long R here. And of these ones, which ones should be realized in a kind of a elongated way, which is the long R? That is calm, calm. Most especially when you have L written after the A, so they are usually more, mostly to be realized in an elongated form, calm. This is short, sad. Cause, rich, calm. So it goes with this. About, about. 
this is a sure sound. Uh, which one plays along with this? Player. Player. Which is the ER here. It's also a sure here. So it's realized in option A. Of course, this is fasting. Dear and sick. Player. So we have it with about. Voice. Voice. This is diphthong oi. So I know of, of the options given, which one goes with oi? That will be koi. Koi. Option C. Koi. This is toes. Choose from. Fume. Fume. So that is long u. Fuse. Fuse. That is point of realization. Option B. Of course, this is rush. Cure. And this is pair. So fuse has the same sound with fume. Gam. This is also a diphthong. Am. Sound. Sound. Gam. Sound. So that brings the realization. This is pond, mold, bowl. So we have it as A. Cut. It's a center of a word. Cut. So, and of course, it has the same pronunciation with blood. Blood. This is good. Call. Put. Blood. Cut. Blood. Rise. Rise. That is I. Is a diphthong. Buy. Buy. This is bit. Raise. Ink. Buy. Rise. Bird. It's a central long vowel. Bird. Early. Early. That is option B. Early. This is sent. Ja. Same. So we have it as early. Kindly subscribe to our channels and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bells as you get along with most of the topics to be treated and in different subjects that we, you actually wish to write in your forthcoming exams. Home. Home. So we are looking for O. That is no. No. Of course, this is took, rock, now, no, home. Then from the word letter A to D, choose a word that has the same consonant sound. The previous one dealt with uh, vowel sounds. Consonant sounds as the one represented by the letter or letters on the line. Crest, crest. So we are looking for k, crest, kiosk, kiosk. So we are looking for this, so it has kiosk, cheetah, knee, the K is silent, sell, rich, rich. We are looking for ch, that is uh, voiced and uh, sibilant, ch. So we have chalk, chalk. Of course, this is chemist. This is shale, shale. The CH is voiceless, sh, shale. And this is square, chalk, rich, paint, paint. That is bilabial, voiceless, paint, trip, trip. This is where it is realized. So, of course, we have photo, psyche, the P is silent, coup, you call it coup, not coup, coup, the P is silent as well. So, we have it as trip. Pressure, pressure, pressure. But this is treasure, pleasure, share, share. So option C has the same uh, consonant sound with the given one. Pressure, share. Of course, this is mess. So option C. Paradigm, paradigm. So I look out for M, that is uh, nasal by labial. Num, num. This is where it is realized. Num. And mind you, the G here is also silent. Nom, Nash, Sign, King, Nom, Rhythm, 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 Tithe, Tithe, that is voiced. Of course, this is time, diet, tick, tithe. From the words letter A to D, choose the words that rhyme with the given word. So we are taking rhythms now, the rhyming scheme. Uh, mind you, most of the time, we do with the ending rhyme rather than the initial rhyme. Clause. Clause. That is, we are looking for us. Us as rhymes. We have pause. Pause. Of course, this is curse. 
curse, pause, clause, ensure, ensure, inure, inure. That is the ending rhyme. Like I said, rather than initial, you go with the ending. Jet, jet, get, get. That is et as the rhyming. Paper, paper, piper, piper. The same. This is rapport, rapport. And of course, the T is silent, so it does not rhyme with this. So, paper, piper.